All right. Hey guys, Melio's back after two year hiatus. So we finally teamed up once again. Yeah. And we're talking about a movie that I actually really don't like. Ooh, that's a hot mug guy. We we're talking about Batman Ninja. If you guys also want to watch uh, kind of a live stream of us watching this and kind of just talking about it, Emilio will have a video on his channel talking about it. We did the same thing for the Digimon video and it was really, really funny. He did mm. a great job editing it. So well, thank you. it's going to be a good one for this one too. Also, this is, by the way, the guy who I was helping push for the his charity stream. When you got, uh, you passed your goal, which yeah. is really awesome. So for those of you who did, join on his channel thank you absolutely thank you we'll be doing another charity stream next year and thank you guys for everyone who who's hopped over and said yeah. hi yeah. no that was really awesome but now what's not awesome is this movie mm -hmm. this movie's kind of terrible i wanted to like it and, and that's like the kind of general consensus i've gotten from from some people who have uh who are anime fans who have watched this film there's definitely an artistic style that is enjoyable to watch. Yeah. You, you like the textures, the the kind of the melding of 2D and 3D animation. Absolutely, the the backgrounds and and the color theory that that's involved and the in it. And style too. Yeah, the style, the the line art changes dramatically at different parts in the film, and it, it that part super cool. And there's a lot of. Uh, kind of homages to different styles from different shows yeah and they definitely have a budget so you can see that there's a lot of good quality mostly throughout the film there are dips here and there mm -hmm. obviously is with any sort of production like this but for the most part it's very very consistent because everything else isn't the narrative is completely all over the place the characters are just there more so as placeholders to say that it's a Batman movie. The nature of what the film's supposed to be is, is completely inconsistent because it starts off in feudal Japan and within maybe about 10 minutes, it throws that out the window and it starts going into weird mechazoid Power Rangers realm. Yeah. And you would think that's fun. Not so much. When, when the whole film is building certain things up and then uh, moving on to something else uh, with at a dramatic pace it feels like a different f film almost every 10 minutes and it never has anything that really really drives you into the into the next there's nothing bit. connecting yeah it's, it, 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 this really would have worked kind of it makes me think of the the anime that halo did the halo oh yeah was halo, it, was legends legends was it? yes yeah. yeah but it was all different stories mm -hmm. that's what this should have been there's a few there's uh, particularly the two stories that i would say is maybe the very beginning without the whole stupid robot like castle thing that joker has mm -hmm. when he first arrives in japan that would have been cool the one where joker <laughs> joker is visited by a red by red hood and he apparently has lost his memory but in reality he actually hypnotized himself to forget who he was but then made a plant that would remind him of who he was so he could fool people yes without that whole connotation on the end the idea of Harley Quinn and Joker trying to like who've forgotten who they are and they're trying to make amends but they're still being punished for what they did mm -hmm. that was cool also because the animation was very unique yeah that but part it, was definitely stood out like yeah you... it was cool it mm -hmm. was very different but then literally right as it ends right as Batman's like yeah they're okay they immediately go bad and it's like, what was the point of that and that's a lot of this movie is what's the point of this what's the point of that Nothing is consistent. There's mm -hmm. just things and things and things and things. Things are constantly happening. And one thing that I, I did notice and to to definitely pinpoint what you, what you were mentioning there is every time there was an expectation for something, it just flipped it on its head just to do that. Felt like, oh, okay, like Not even something's... for work, narratively. Joker, Harley, they're, they seem to have changed. There's something up with them, even if they're using that as a plot device to then later trick you and be like, oh, okay, it was part of their ploy. They really didn't develop that any further than, you know, about what was that section like three minutes four minutes and then uh, oh twist oh okay that was a complete right. waste of time it, it's constantly throwing twists at you and when it does that it just makes you like okay yeah there's yeah. gonna be another twist the whole idea of feudal japan is tossed out the window so early on because it, mm -hmm. it literally turns into giant robots fighting each other yeah and then batman gets a giant monkey slash bat 
human anamorph <laughs> robot thing. Which the monkey collective The monkey collective was, was co cool. Yeah. That uh, was cool. <laughs> they, there's these tiny little things that are like, oh that's interesting. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. But this film is so weird and so non consistent that you can't even really enjoy it for its bad because there's a lot of pauses. Even though this movie is only an hour and 25 minutes, mm -hmm. it feels like three hours. Yeah. It's it, so... It drags. It's dull in a lot of parts too, considering yeah. how ridiculous it is. It, it has like a Fast and Furious effect, if I were to make, like, especially with the yeah. latter films. Yeah. It's so ridiculous that you just become nullified to it. Yeah, just you, numb. You, it, you it's just... because it, it just constantly just keeps your your head spinning with what everything that's like, going on like okay sure i'll take it mm -hmm. uh, the only emotional connection you have is with two little tiny cute monkeys i would agree yeah I would agree Th with those that. things they're there just because they're cute little monkeys right you, like, you don't even feel the relationship between Robin and the monkey. You're like, I can't, I could give a shit about Robin. Yeah, uh, lose him. <laughs> give me this monkey. I feel that they literally gave all creative control to the writers and the directors and the animation team. Yeah. Which, cool. That's nice to see. Uh, especially, like, no interference when DC isn't interfering in a film of theirs. That's a rare occasion. Mm -hmm. I feel that maybe that wasn't the best choice. <laughs> Yeah. Because it just, it's just bananas. It required a little more connective tissue to really bring it into, like, it didn't feel like a feature. It it's felt like, like bits. Yeah, it's like putting different pieces of a jigsaw pu puzzle from different puzzles yeah. together into one. And it's crazy to think, too, that the cast is so stacked. At oh, least yeah. for the English dub. Mm -hmm. uh, I've seen both versions. To be honest, I don't care for either one. But at least with the English one, I'm not... I, I'm not having to put any more effort into the film than it's already requesting of me. Yeah. Uh, and I thought there were some cool voices. Like, it's cool to see. Yeah, Harley uh, committed. Uh, Tara Strong. And, Tara Strong. Uh, uh, the guy who plays Batman, Ezio Auditore. Mm -hmm. He's not too bad. The gentleman, Tom... Hey, Tom Kenny. Tom Kenny. Tom, Tom Kenny is Penguin. Yeah. There's Tom Handel or Hale, whoever oh. his name is, who voices... Um, Tom Hale... Or Tony Hale. Yeah. He voices yeah. Joker. He's... Clearly having fun. Yeah, and uh, Some of the it feels, says. feels like they did what they could with it. You know, it feels like they 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 read the lines they they put in. And they're know. doing purposely bad dubs, maybe, and <laughs> not not in the voice work, but more so the dialogue. Like mm -hmm. those old Godzilla movies, you watch the dubs, and some of the English dialogue is just stupid yeah and some of that is the same in this one like what would Catwoman say when she was gonna fight harley i was like yeah hey, how about some girl on girl girl action? on girl action all right we're just spelling it out mm -hmm. i can say i've watched it but that's it that's the extent of what i would say i enjoy about the film is that i've watched it it looks cool but i couldn't ever bring myself to watch it again to mm -hmm. watch it again with you two years later <laughs> that was a test still a chore oh yeah when yeah. we were in the first 20 minutes i'm like yeah nope i was not wrong the first time when i watched this <laughs> honestly i agree like at first yeah about 20 minutes in i was like okay is when it started to really lose me for what it was visually kind of dis like kind of disappointing, disappointing because yeah. it's like it could have been something of substance and something that uh, was really cool and unique and a unique take on Batman. But uh, I mean, visually it was, story-wise, it uh, was a little... It doesn't sink. It's no. just very, very disappointing. That's why, it, for my rating, uh, I would give this film a two out of seven. You got some nice visuals, the voice acting's not bad. But that's it. Mm -hmm. Like no redeemable, like in terms of rewatchability in this film for me. Yeah. If you were to do my silly system, what would you give it? Uh, I guess uh, I would. Uh, I'd probably air just a little bit more because I feel like I would have a little bit of fun with it while intoxicated or showing another <laughs> friend and just appreciating the art um, because I'm su I'm super into that uh, all the different kinds of styles with it but at the same time it would be a little bit of a chore it's it would be like watching I don't uh, I don't know if you've done a review of it but like the death note movie um, because I love the original uh, the original 
uh, substance, the original... Like the source material. Yeah, source material, sorry. Uh, oh, the, you were talking about the Netflix one? The Netflix one. Yeah. I've watched it a few times, and I I hate watch it. So <laughs> it's, uh, it's a good time on the rare occasion. <laughs> so what would you, what, what number would you give? It? Uh, oh, a three out of seven. Okay, yeah. that's what I figured. It's, uh, it's certainly not great, but... Uh, yeah. Well, anyways, guys, thank you for watching this review. I hope yeah. you enjoyed the video. Like I said, Emilio will have a stream uh, or like a, a cut uh, together stream. Yeah, like of... a, a a quick edit reaction video of uh, us watching the film. There's like cut yeah. out a lot of the parts of us just like this. We suffered so that you didn't have to. Also, make sure to check out his channel. I'll have a link for his channel at the end of this video as well in the description below, with, along with the link for that video as well. Sweet, thank so, you. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll, we'll see you guys next time. Yeah, thanks for having me on. No Jeremy. problem, man. Later.